So I've taken a little bit of the drywall off, and I found that uh, for this this piece here, it's a lot of mold damage on the outs on the on the outside of it, inside the uh, inside the room. But when I took it down, <clears throat> it's fairly dry in here. Um, you can see a little bit at the bottom. You can see some mold right there. I think that's mold. Yeah, that's mold. And uh, this beam here, it's a wood beam, it's pretty soaked. But it's behind the, uh, the moisture barrier. <clears throat> you can see there's, there's quite a bit of moisture on the inside of there. It's pretty dry out here. This, this slat here is kind of moist, so it seems whatever the water problem was, it was seeping against uh, the foundation wall and running down that way and then coming out at the bottom. Although I don't know why there's so much mold on the outside if, uh, if that's the case. And for the, uh, I took a bit down on the top, I'm not really finished uh, inspecting the top area yet, but I took a, a couple of slices out, and uh, you can see it's pretty bad on uh, facing into the room, but on the other side, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty dry. It's this piece, that's the inside basement, and I guess it's uh, facing out. Same with this guy here. This is facing in the room. That's right up at the top. And uh, I can touch inside. Yeah, the, the fiberglass is pretty moist in there. You can feel it. I uh, cut the moisture barrier with my knife. This, uh, this piece of wood looks kind of damp as well. Can't quite tell if it's moist or not, but it looks moist. Especially right there. <clears throat> 